Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Plus Size in Canada. My name is Miranda and we are talking self-care today. Self-care is important. First things first. <laughs> self-care is important. And if self-care isn't in your vocabulary, it is time that it squeaked its way in there. It really isn't a one size fits all because we all need different things. Um, some days self-care for me means going to bed early and sometimes self-care means staying up late. So it really depends on what's going on in your life and what you're missing. And then self-care is taking that thing that you're missing and getting it in there so you feel better. <laughs> so you guys know I've been prepping so much for family things over the last couple months, camping trips, um, last days of school, all of those things. And as I've been going along, it's, you know, I've taken a little bit of less time for myself and I've had to find little tiny ways to get a break. And sometimes that does mean staying up late so I can have a bath. And sometimes it means going to bed early stanky because you're tired, okay? <laughs> I absolutely still have been taking care of myself and keeping myself as a priority um, because I take myself shopping all the time and that's one of my most favorite things to do. And not only is it a hobby for me, it's also, you know, a break. <laughs> I get out of these four walls and I get to go somewhere else and like see real people. It's quite nice. Um, even if it's a little too peoply out, it's still nice to get out of your house and just like get away from the kids for a minute. <laughs> I know sometimes people are like, Miranda, like you literally have the best life. And I'm like, yeah, I know. <laughs> I definitely know, but um, you know, <laughs> mental health, it's, it's kind of a thing and you can't continue to run at full speed without needing to take a breath, you know, like maybe sit down for a minute and you know, eat a cheesecake, <laughs> a slice or the whole thing. I, it's up to you. <laughs> And even though I say I love shopping and it's my hobby, I, I mean it, it's true. But I don't consider grocery shopping or like house shopping for like essentials. That That's not fun for me. That's, that's actually a chore. It's not mom time. It's not, like for me, it's not. Maybe for some people they're like, yes, it's time to grocery shop again. Quick, everybody, eat faster so I can go shopping for groceries more often. That's not me. I, I, I hate grocery shopping. <laughs> Kids eat so much more than you would think. So I have to grocery shop all the time. And what I've been doing lately for self-care um, is behind the scenes, while I've been grocery shopping, I, I take a little spin through an aisle of choice through an aisle of my choice, <laughs> not a grocery aisle. I, I just take a little bit of time and just kind of push my cart over across to the other side of the store where there are more fun things there for me. So I've spent a little money in the last few weeks. Yes, I have been shopping for wardrobe. If you don't know, I have been seeking and finding all the beautiful things. <laughs> It's my turn, okay? It's been everybody's turn. Now it's my turn. I have been buying a new summer wardrobe, okay? I know. But that that's super fun, and I've really enjoyed it. But I also just wanted some things. And what I mean by things is, I mean, I wanted to treat myself and buy myself some products. Just some products that I've never tried before, maybe. I, I don't, I think everything that I bought, I haven't tried before. I think that's actually true. Wow. I just I just went through the cosmetics department, okay? So sue me. <laughs> I just went through all those aisles and I was like, oh, cute. Should I try it? Yeah, <laughs> I should try it. So basically the last few times that I've gone shopping, I just bought some extra stuff and didn't tell you about it till now. So now, now I'm gonna tell you about it, okay? And we can get excited about it together. And uh, I'll show you all the things that I bought. Do you want to see? I bought some fun stuff and it's been in a bag. Oh yeah, and I got a new bathing suit. Why? It doesn't match anything else. It, it, I'll try it on, but it doesn't match anything else that I bought. I just 
saw a bathing suit. You want to see it? Let me show you that first. Okay. It was 20 bucks and I'm not going to try it on right now. <laughs> I'll try it on later. Um, but I got it in a size 24 because I was trying to think what size was the red one that I got that we all liked. I'm pretty sure every single person gave me a positive comment and that made me feel really happy. Honestly, something I've actually really realized in watching like other people's videos or TikToks about having body confidence and getting out of their comfort zone, every single, I kid you not, every single video I've watched about a person showing their insecurities, every single person, whether they're bigger than me or smaller than me, I literally have looked at every single woman and thought, damn you look good. Like in all honesty, I have not seen one person on any video that I had ever thought, like <laughs> cover that up. Not at all. Not at all. And like, this is like women empowerment. This is women supporting women. Okay. Like let's not judge each other anymore. Let's not make that a thing. Let's not pick each other apart. Let's care about one another and support one another and tell everyone else you're hot so am i and so are you like let's let's have that be a thing okay here is the bathing suit you guys it's it's like it's cute right i think it's cute and i really like the boobage here you seeing like the clavage anyways i'll try it on later it was really 20 bucks and my mom just told me about a bathing suit that she bought at like a bathing suit store and she spent $130 on it. And I was like, whoa, <laughs> I used to do that. I used to do that. But I feel like if I spend $20 on bathing suits, then like I can have a few, right? And I just like, wouldn't this be cute as even like a bodysuit? You know, like some like jeans. Well, who wears jeans? I mean, <laughs> It's just cute. So I am going to try it on, but I'll try it on after I get the kids to bed because I'm actually filming this at 8.45 at night. That's what time it is currently right now. He's got a new toy there beside him. He's chilling. He's chilling. <sighs> actually, when I'm done filming this, um, I have another video uploading or um, exporting right now. Once that's done exporting, then I'm going to upload it to YouTube and schedule it for, is that tomorrow's? Nope, that's for a couple days before you're seeing this one. We're going on vacation. <laughs> and I wanna be able to still talk to my friends while we're away from Wi-Fi. So this video is gonna be uploaded while I think I'm on an island, maybe on a beach, and it's kind of exciting. Um, but I can still comment back to you and I'll still see your comments. Um, so you can still leave them and I'll still say hi because I got that phone data, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, okay, so let's start with the things, okay? Yes, when I'm done this video, I'm having a bath. That's self-care and I'm doing it and I'm gonna shave my legs and I'm going to put some like scrubs on my feet. Not, not like nurse scrubs, like scrubbing, you know, like the, uh, what do you call it? I got some of it, I'll show you in a minute. <laughs> I like foot products on my feet. I'm gonna do all the things tomorrow morning when I wake up. I'm going to paint my nails. Um, what else am I gonna do? Oh, I'm gonna have to have a shower tomorrow and wash this hair. I thought, I literally just thought I cut through into like one of the bottles. Yeah, I don't, this probably wasn't a safe choice. <sighs> okay, anyways. So in the products, I just basically walked through and if I liked it, I was like, it's not that expensive. I don't think I bought anything that was like over $10. I think everything was pretty well a good price. I just saw these, it was in a double pack and it was $5.97, I remember. That's why I bought it. I had never tried it before. I don't even think I opened it to smell it. But let's just self-care these hands up right now. It smells pretty good. Um, the reason why I thought about this is because I saw it. And that's why I thought about it, because I saw it. But then I was like, in my purse. Yes, because my skin, you guys see this? My, like, okay, I have OCD and a lot of my OCD is about germs. Um, I've always had an issue with germs and washing my hands. And so I have to um, continuously put cream on my hands and I haven't had cream in my purse for almost a couple weeks. I ran out, I had some baby stuff in there. Anyways, yeah, long story short, 
it's for my hands that get really, really chapped and cut because I am ultra cautious. <laughs> I am a lot better than I was a year ago, but I still have some issues. <laughs> Don't be jealous. <laughs> um, anyways, I grabbed this. Um, this is the ultimate shine top coat from Revlon gel like shine. I'm just going to give it a try. It was only like four something. Um, anyways, I really don't know. I've been using this. Oh yeah. Now my hands are creamy. So there's no way I'm going to be able to open that yet. We're, that's not even going to happen. Um, I'm going to use this tomorrow morning though. When I paint my nails, I was using OPI, this like shine and infinite shine. I grabbed it. It was just over in my, whoa, <laughs> in my beauty bag. Anyways, these are what I've been using. I still have lots of this left, um, but this is the third coat and, um, or like the top coat and there's like none left in this. So, um, I've been looking at winners and Marshalls cause that's normally where I buy all my OPI stuff. Um, and they haven't had it in since. I bought them so I needed to try something else so we're gonna give this a go tomorrow all right and then also dang it I wanted to try these on oh I can open this one okay um, this is hard candy lip gloss I haven't bought anything for my lips in over a year now I'm not a big lipstick wearer um, because Curtis will not kiss me if I'm wearing lipstick which it's like sometimes it's like oh man sometimes it's like ha 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 Put on the lipstick. Don't touch me. <laughs> Can you say married? Yeah, okay. Um, but these were both like $9 each or something like that. And I was like, I just like hard candy. I love that brand. Um, no photos, please. And Coco Rush. So I just was like, it's time, Miranda. Get some lippy. That smells a little bit like farts. Yeah, I'm not sure about the smell. But I just love this kind of lip gloss. It rem reminds me of when my mom's Avon lady would come over <laughs> and she'd give us some little trial things. See, that's just so soft. Just so soft. I love it. Anyways, just like a clear gloss, but like a little bit of color, you know what I'm saying? So clear, but with color. That, that's a new thing. <laughs> I got some hairspray, one from my homies. <laughs> I pretty much just got this to toss in my camping bag for in case if Winnie needs any hairspray or I need any hairspray. Winnie has a whole bunch of baby hairs growing and they're always in her face and her hair is always in her face. I have never cut that girl a bang and I wouldn't because bangs are so irritating because you have to maintain them. Um, but she's always got these little baby hairs. So I constantly am like, Winnie, put your hair behind your ears. Winnie, put your hair behind your ears. Like it bothers me so bad. I think it's an OCD thing. Um, but anyways, this is for that. Um, and then I got this, because my friend Michelle from Chickens by the Lake, she has been doing her nails. And then I saw her take off her nail polish one time and she had one of these, which she, she like put one of these on it and she squished it down. And I've been using friggin' like a rinky dink bottle, this lame ass bottle that like, I don't know. I just thought that this was all the nail polish remover until I saw that video that she made. And then I was like, I want one of those bottles because it squishes it down and the stuff comes up and it's nail polish remover pump, 100% acetone. So I was like, when I saw it, I was like, yes, that is a must. And I am going to use that tomorrow morning when I take this stuff off to put some new stuff on. So got that and got that self care. Oh yeah. And then this isn't for me, but to show I care about other people, got some Old Spice from my stinky boys. We got some After Hours, some Swagger, and some Kraken Guard. Cool. And also, okay, so I got that for the boys. Um, and I got myself some, what is it called? Sunscreen. Sunscreen. So I have my kids literally stocked up on sunscreen basically for the summer. I've bought a ton and we're probably going to be good. Uh, depends how many sunny days while we have while we're camping. Um, but I don't like sunscreen. Okay. I really don't. And I know that I really should be using it because you know, it's better for you. And obviously you could get sick and I don't want any of that, but I also really hate sunscreen. So I was like, okay, why don't you just go and look 
and see if they have like pretty sunscreens. Because if it had something like pretty, then maybe I'd be like, mm, yes, give me some of that. You know what I mean? So guess what I found? <laughs> pretty sunscreens, okay? So I got this Hawaiian Tropic Silk Hydration Weightless Face Visage. Visage. Feels as if it's barely on. Ooh. <laughs> I just thought it was pretty. They, that's basically why. It's 30 SPF. So we're going to do that on the face. And it smells good. Okay. It smells good. Hawaiian Tropic, you guys. Uh, smells so good. So I got that for my face. And then, also for fun, I got this Copper Tone Glow um, with Shimmer. With Shimmer! For 30 SPF, no parabens, no PBAs or PABA, no oxybenzone. That sounds like a drug. But anyways, it says water resistant. I just, again, I just thought it was pretty. Smells amazing. Oh, I'm going to just be such a beach babe. I can't wait. Okay. And then please no hate. I know this is not good for me. I basically only bought it for the smell and for the bronze, okay? But I think what I'll do is like, I'll just mix them together. You know what I mean? Like three pretty things. But like, if you were here right now, you would smell this. <sighs> it's, I don't know why. Maybe it's because a lot of people use this in the 90s, but this instantly takes me back to being on the beach, trying moon mist for the first time as a kid. And just like being at the beach all day, falling asleep in the van on the way home and like being a little crispy on your face and your mom has to put diaper rash cream on your nose because it's so red. You know what I mean? Like this smells. Oh, I just couldn't. I had to buy it. And then, okay. So because I was thinking about Curtis and his self-care, because as a good wife, I should consider his self-care, right? I bought him this because he has been using the kids copper tone um, sunscreen and I wanted to find him one that was like more adulty. And I will say that they put all of their packaging geared towards women because obviously this is pretty. <laughs> and it wouldn't be Curtis's first choice. But um, I do think he'll appreciate the thought. And it is just like adult sunscreen, the kind we usually use but without kids on the bottle. So I think he'll appreciate it. I saw this Sarah V um, hydrating cleanser. A lot of the things that I bought were actually in the section of Walmart, in the beauty section where it was like trial size things, which I love. Like I love trial size because I do get pulled in. I do get pulled in. If I like you in a trial size, I will buy you in a plus size, okay? <laughs> And I've actually seen this on TikTok and I think I saw a dermatologist hyping it up. So I wanted to try it. Um, okay. This is the foot stuff that I'm talking about. I do have a lot of foot stuff already. Um, but this one was only like $5 and I feel like barefoot has been a thing since like I was a kid. I think I've seen it. I think I maybe used it before. This one is Muralur, Muralura, Marlura oil and cocoa butter. I do love cocoa butter. Yeah, it smells pretty good, actually. It smells very similar to the other cocoa butter thing that I get, this cream. <laughs> Anyways, so we're going to try that tonight. Um, oh, I could try this right now. Okay, a Curl Affair, Curl Reshaping Cream. Um, I, I don't know if Pantene's good for your curls or not. I've literally been using Pantene products for my curls since I was in high school, and... I, I don't have like super curly, curly curls like my sister has, but I feel like, like I have like cute beachy waves. Anyways, let's give this a try like right here because it's just meant to be for like reshaping your curls for like next day hair, day after hair. You know what I mean? Did it do anything? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It says you can use it in dry or damp hair. I'll tell you, it smells good. Mmm, it's luxurious. <laughs> yeah, maybe it did something. I don't know. I get the frizz. You know what I'm saying? But maybe it worked. I don't know. It smells good either way. And honestly, one of the best compliments is when a guy tells you, well, when your husband tells you, because mine's my husband, but when a guy tells you, mmm, your hair smells good. Like, is that not like, I don't, I'm always, thanks. <laughs> 
thanks I grew it myself <laughs> anyways I just really love that compliment because it's just I think it's sweet and it also means that they're sniffing you which means they must like you you know um okay <laughs> That's the way my thought process is, apparently. Um, I Trial size, again with the trial size. L'Oreal Paris Revitalift. I've heard of this before. I don't know if it works. Anti-aging moisturizer. We'll give it a try. Reduces wrinkles, firms skin. Ow, that hurt. Hit my butt really hard. <laughs> and brightens. I could use all three of those things. Let's see what the bottle looks like. Oh, it's cute. Okay, <laughs> Skylar, you want to try some Revitalift? Smooths wrinkles. That? I don't know what that is. Oh, it smells like an old lady. Smell it. No. no. <laughs> I love oil of Olay. Okay, like, well, this is not oil of Olay, but I have creams like this. My mom always had it, and I always used hers. And I actually do find like it does cost a lot of money. I'm sure. There are other products better than that out there, but I still like it. I still use um, a face moisturizer, oil valet. I just, I don't know, a lot of people like it, so I feel like it's gotta be good somehow, right? Okay, earrings, earrings. You guys ready for my Walmart earrings? I know, aren't they fun? I saw, the, okay, I love sterling silver, obviously. Is that what you would call this? Sterling silver, I, th I think so. But like the earrings that are in that don't ever come out. All right, can you even see these ones? I don't know, there's three right there. Anyways, and my wedding ring is also sterling silver. But I'm, I, we're still married, don't worry about it. I just not wearing it for a while, okay? Yes, I'll get it reshaped just when I want to, okay? Like, okay? <laughs> Anyways, so I'm always looking for hoops because I love hoops and I know Hoochie Mama Shoyanana. I look good with hoops. Okay, that was a little S Club 7 for you. Hoochie Mama Shoyanana. <laughs> S Club. There ain't no party like an S Club party. <laughs> I honestly don't know which ones I will wear first, but I am loving that purple pair. Like, loving them. Loving them so much. Anyways, this was fun. Something else that's fun is I bought some cups. These are so fun. I am. I know the boys are gonna fight me for them. I already know, but there's four, so I'll share. Just hands off the purple merchandise, okay? I just think these are so cute, and they're like, I've seen them before. Um, actually, Winnie has one. Curtis's best friend slash coworker, Brad, his wife has one of those cricket things, and she made this one for Winnie. So it's so cute, right? But it's like really similar. I've seen these before too at Costco, um, but the colors that they had were not cute when I saw them there, but these colors are cute, right? And they're color changing. So I don't actually know what that means. I'm assuming it means they change color. <laughs> I don't know if you can put hot stuff in here. Oh wait, okay, it says add iced beverages to change colors. Okay, so really cold beverages. I need some ice, clearly. I, I think I might get myself an ice maker. I really do want, I like ice, but I don't like making it in the trays and we don't have one of those cool fridges that you can just go and get ice. So we have to do the tray thing and I, that's a lot of work and then the boys take it all and then I don't get any and they don't make their own because they're lazy and they make me make it and then they eat it and then I don't get any and it's a rip off. So I think I wanna get an ice maker. Also with my nails, I am, that's major self care. I have been doing my nails for months now. All by myself, I've never gotten like a real manicure in this whole spree of me um, doing it myself. Like I'm proud of myself because I'm actually sticking to it and I think I'm doing a really good job and don't look too closely at them right now because I worked really hard today and I'm going to paint my nails tomorrow morning. So normally they're a little bit chipped. These are like on their third day. So it's about every three days. I have to do it sometimes every two days. So yeah, it's self care, but I, I really like doing it because I sit down and I reply back to comments while they're drying in between each um, coat, so it works nicely. I got two of these thingies. These are, like, I watched a couple videos on painting nails, which I basically decided I'm never gonna be one of those nail ladies because they're way too good at nails, and I'm just gonna keep putting pretty colors on mine, and that's it. Um, but anyways, they're just nail files. They were like $1.57 each, and they're cool because they're little, like, block thingies. Um, and then I also got this. 
nail glue, not for like press on nails, but for if I want to put stickers on my nails, like. I just ran down to my bedroom to try this on because I was in the middle of editing the video and I was like, oh crap, I didn't try on that bathing suit. Hard pass. Hard pass. It is like disproportionate. It's trying to pull my boobs down because like it starts here. It should be like, you know, it's, it's not good. And like the sides it's yeah, nah. I'm not even going to show you the bottom half because it's not fitting. <laughs> so I'm going to return this baby and uh, I might just be done bathing suit shopping for this year. I feel like I've put myself through enough that I can just move on with the bathing suits that I do have. So there is my fun self-care, all the products kind of haul. It's been so long since I just went and bought some products. You know what I'm saying? And it's fun to do every once in a while because I feel like when you get new stuff, you want to use the new stuff. And to use the new stuff, you got to take care of yourself. So it's kind of like, you know, it's kind of a, uh, what do you call that when it's rewarding? Rewarding. <laughs> It's rewarding, right? Okay. <laughs> and you are worth it, okay? I love you so much. Take care of my friend for me, okay? I love you. Bye, guys. Sometimes self-care means getting A&W for supper and not worrying about cooking. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm.